Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of amazing hot popping tea. You know, that is happening today, Friday, TGIF. But overall, tomorrow is Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. Oh my God, I keep like every. We, I know all of us, we say Chinese New Year, but this is not only about China. It's called Lunar New Year's, and a lot of cultures celebrate Lunar New Year. It's not only about China, okay? It's about everyone. But of course, Chinese is kind of, China is kind of like the big one. And that's how, you know, most of us celebrate, you know? I, it's a very big day for us here. I do, I have been going to the Chinese temple for years now. And I, uh, we celebrate it over there. It's such a beautiful place. You came out like so full of like, peace and love you know and the sense of community it's honestly if you ever visit la make sure to go and, and and visit the chinese temple in downtown in chinatown because it's it's such a beautiful experience and i'm gonna be there tonight to celebrate the new the, the lunar new year mm. i'm gonna have a special episode of my podcast dropping today uh, so make sure to check it out and I'm going to be joined by two amazing guests. The first one is the one and only Miss Crystal Minkoff and we're going to be talking all about Lunar New Year with her and also I'm going to be joined by Zach Peter. You know that when we got together, messiness is happening, you know, so um, stay tuned, you know, go to my Spotify or wherever you get your podcast, look for it. It's called Let's Talk About This Mess and make sure to subscribe. It's free so you can get all of the new episodes. And if you want to get the video portion of the podcast, then you do have to go to my Patreon. The link is on the description below. All right, um, guys, it is time to talk about um, Real Housewives Ultimate Girl Strip, okay? Dra the drama, you know, between Caroline Manso and Brandy Glanville, still there, it's still happening, you know, nothing really have changed. Uh, Caroline still fighting, still suing, you know, saying all the horrible things that she said about Brandy and about the show, you know, and we already have, like, talked, like, a lot about um, what is coming from her camp, you know, what she's kind of like really trying to do. What I did not know is what, she, what is she expecting to do? Because I know for a fact that she doesn't want the show to air. You know, I, I know that she doesn't want to anyone to ever see or watch what the, the things that she did on that show. And that's fine. You know, um, but I don't know what else is she like expecting from this. You know, does she is she really expecting money from this? Is she really thinking that she can actually win this lawsuit? Because I don't see how she's gonna be able to win this lawsuit when she's gonna be claiming sexual harassment, but she's not suing the person who sexual sexually harassed her. You know, she's only coming after the network. And there are so many proof and like and like footage and everything that she was okay before the incident, after the incident, they have like audio during the incident, you know. So how is this like? How, what is she really expecting that is going to happen? You know, I think that's the that, I, that's the like one hundred billion dollar question. Oh, sorry guys, I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> So uh, that's what that's that's what we like waiting to see now. Vicky Gumbelson just went on Brandy Glanville's podcast, and I think that's such a huge deal, okay? Because, like, contrary to what you would be thinking, that maybe they they cannot say anything. You know, they are in this legal trouble you know like bravo is in this legal situation they're probably gonna be telling all of the women to never like to spoke about this season ever again to keep it hiding to like whatever you know but they are not doing that which also makes me realize that bravo knows that they can that they are gonna win this thing because bravo is letting all of these women talk 
post about it. If we know anything about Bravo is that they hate people talking to the media, to bloggers, to podcasts, to anything out there. You know, they hate all of that shit. So the fact that Bravo is allowing Vicky to do that with Brandy Glanville is kind of a way of saying like, you know, go there, like show your truth, put everything out there, you know, and, but it's going to be uh, unto you because we cannot do anything because we are on this lawsuit. But that way, the, like the world will see what really went down, you know. So Vicky went over there and honestly, they just went down to it. They, they, they mentioned it a bunch of things, you know. And Vicky, one of the things that Vicky said was that actually the show will never air. She's kind of like confirming that the show will never air, according to Vicky, you know, which is very weird because Andy Cohen has come forward so many times saying, no, we actually will have the show. Don't worry. It's coming. It's going to be amazing, you know, be it be, ba ba you know, um, but according to Vicky, she's saying that the head of Bravo told her that the show will never see the light, the, the light of day, you know? So that's pretty disappointing right there. But she also said that the head of Bravo told her directly that it is such a sad thing because the show is so good and is one of the best shows that she has ever seen. Now, imagine the head of Bravo saying something like this. What are we missing? What are we missing? Because we need to see this show. At this point, I'm waiting for, you know, a leak, you know, a random hacker, you know, going and, and, and retrieving all that footage and putting it out there for us. I have no idea because we need to watch what happened. So now we have... Every single housewife that went over there, except Caroline and Bravo, saying, roll the footage. You know, let's just put it out there. Let people destroy themselves if, they, if, if that's the case, you know. But it's very big because they're saying, we know that Caroline cannot win. So, I don't know. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Did, did she's... I mean, from what I heard, she did say, like, nasty things about Dina Manso. Is that why she doesn't want to get out there? Is that why she's fighting so bad? I don't know. It's a mess is what it is, you know? And I'm very excited to see how this is going to resolve. And I'm also waiting, like, if we're not getting this, when are we going to get our next, like, Ultimate Girls Trip? You know, and who are going to be there? Anyways, so uh, listen to the podcast. It's very entertaining. You know, it's uh, amazing. They, they go after Teddy Mellencamp like crazy. They destroy Teddy Mellencamp. They uh, destroy other people on the show. Like, it's a really, you can tell that they had a lot of things here that they needed to put out there. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real House of Ultimate Girls Trip or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.